Hey guys, a really exciting video today. I'm going to be rebuilding my desktop into a new, much bigger, much better case. So this is the old case and this is the new one. Let's get started. This video is in collaboration with Cooler Master Malaysia. They've sent over the Masterbox MB320L ARGB, the Master Liquid ML240L version 2 ARGB, and lastly, the Master Fan SF240R ARGB. Wow, that is a mouthful. This build is going to be lit literally from all the ARGB included for this build. Anyway, I'm going to be focusing more on these three products but I'll also go through all the other hardware in this build. Let's get to the list. The brains of this build will be the Ryzen 5 3600, an upgrade from my Ryzen 5 2600. The GPU will be the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super, a great value GPU with the new NVENC encoder. I've also got 32GB of HyperX DDR4 RAM running at 3200MHz. The storage will be a single 1TB M.2 NVMe drive from Western Digital. Powering this setup is a 650W 80 Plus Go PSU from Superflower. Tying all the components together is the ASRock B550M Steel Legend motherboard. This is a great value motherboard with a ton of USB inputs which I have maxed out in my previous build. Now for the products from Cooler Master. We have the Master Fan SF240R ARGB fans. Yes, they're basically fans, but what makes this special is the addressable RGB and the fact that it comes as two units attached together, creating a smaller footprint with less wires for easier installation. Next, we have the Master Liquid ML240L version 2 ARGB. Both the radiator and dual chamber pump has been redesigned to increase its performance. The lights are addressable as well. Lastly, we have this beautiful case that will protect the components and display it in all its glory. The Masterbox MB320L, you guessed it, ARGB. This is a mini tower that can fit both a mini ITX and a micro ITX build. We have a dark mirror front panel finish which looks absolutely awesome with large panel intakes on the sides. That front panel looks so good with the ARGB fans Plus, the mesh sides will help keep Husky's hair away from the inside. You actually have dust filters at the top and bottom as well. It comes with dual 120mm ARGB fans, but I'll be swapping these with the new fans that we got. The included fans will be placed elsewhere in this build, most likely at the back. The side panel is made of tempered glass. You can see all your hard work on display. The case I.O. is located at the front and you'll find the power button two USB 3.2 Gen 1, one audio jack, and one mic jack. On the inside, they've included an adaptable drive cage, ARGB controller, and ARGB splitter cable. Now you know everything about the components, let's jump into the build time-lapse. So here it is, my new desktop. Let me power it on. I absolutely love how it turned out. I was never really a fan of RGB, but the quality of the RGB lights from Cooler Master really changed my mind. Let me show you a closer look of the inside of this build, and you can see some of my questionable cable management skills. Let's take off the tempered glass. I have such a big fear of this falling and breaking. 
because I've seen so much of that happening on Facebook. Oh yes, success. So here's a closer look at the inside. Let's talk about the colorful components first. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but the two individual fans here were taken out. One of it is here. Now at the front is the new dual fan. I've got the radiator at the top and you can see the graphics card is here. There's RAM there and the M.2, can it be seen? No, it's under M.2 shield at the bottom there. The power supply is hidden at the bottom obviously and we'll have a look at the mess on the other side after this. But yeah, that's a very quick look at the front. Obviously, I have some cable management still to do like this dangly thing here and this twisty thing here. I had to move a lot of wires around because I made a couple mistakes yesterday but thankfully everything turned out well. Now let's have a look at the other side. I really like these thumb screws because you know you can just use your thumb obviously but also it doesn't fall off so it just tangles there and okay this side panel firstly is a savior for cable management and I thought I could have done it so well, but let's just say it's a bit messy. Let me come back to this side. So yeah, a lot more work to be done, but I actually completed this build around three to four in the morning. And now it's, I think it's about 10. So I did a lot of troubleshooting, slept for a few hours and now I'm recording this video. So I've not really put that much effort into cable management yet. What I have done is try to group the cables together so if they're related, I'll just zip tie them together. And also for the ARGB leads, I've labeled them. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have these special zip tie labels. It says T fan, so that's top fan. I have here that says F fan, so front fan, and R fan, which is rear fan. The power supply is at the bottom here. It's modular, thankfully. So I only needed like a few, a few power leads. So CPU, motherboard, and GPU. That's all because I'm only running on a single M.2 drive. So yeah, that's pretty much it for a closer look at this build. I'll definitely improve on it. Don't worry about that. Now let's conclude this video. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys would like to know more about these products, just let me know in the comment section below. Purchase links to each component is also in the description box below. Once again, thank you to Cooler Master Malaysia for helping me with this build and thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's it from us and we'll see you guys for the next video. So while building this, one of the most facepalm moments of the build was when I realized that the motherboard did not come with built-in Wi-Fi. I saw an M.2 slot for a network card. I thought that was just an add-on to improve the Wi-Fi. But it turns out the board does not even come with Wi-Fi at all. So I've already ordered one. And I was using this with Ethernet yesterday. Setting it up, up to 5 a.m. Oh, my back is killing me. All right. See you guys.